So there's a lot of stuff in the home that you need to be aware of. Um, probably uh, not necessarily the most frequent, but something that pe- everybody needs to be on uh, needs to be on everyone's rad- uh, radar is radon. Radon is a leading cause of lung cancer, and if you live in a home that's never been checked for radon, um, there are easy send away kits. Most local governments help with that. Um, just check your local health department, but. Uh, that is one thing all homes should be checked for radon. Um, but other th- otherwise, you know, in the home, there are a couple of key, uh, I guess, bad actors. Um, one of them is uh, uh, stoves and furnaces. So wood burning stoves in particular, I don't know. How, how how common are those in Australia? I'm curious. Maybe you don't have them. It depends but we have them where you live. US. Depends yeah. where you live. Yeah. So uh, in, I grew up with a wood burning stove in my home. Again, I I Grew in a grew up in a cold rural area, mm-hmm. so it was mm-hmm. pretty common because it's a cheaper way to supplement for heat for the winter. Uh, but uh, it, you know, even uh, there are, you, you know, if you've got to, if you really have to use a wood burning stove, uh, you want to make sure you have sort of the the latest and greatest, most environmentally friendly version possible. But to be honest, even those um, are going to still spill particulate matter. Um, in, into the environment. Um, so, so that's one thing to think about. But even uh, even um, gas stoves uh, in you know, and I actually ha- I have a gas powered range. Uh, so mm-hmm. I uh, have I try to as best I can be super diligent about turning the exhaust fan on, even when I'm not cooking something smoky. If I've got the range on, I really do try try to run uh, the exhaust. Another real bad actor in homes are VOCs, so volatile organic chemicals, which can be very irritating to the lungs. And they can be hiding everywhere, paints, carpets, uh, all sorts of things. So I've tried to uh, become more conscious of that in my home. There are fortunately are now low and no VOC paints that are pretty readily available. Uh, but like, for instance, I'm going through a remodel in my basement right now. And I've asked them to air all the carpets out before they get installed into the home um, to try to let them off gas before they actually get brought into the home. Uh, uh, I do I do not run a HEPA filter in every room, but I do run one in the bedroom uh, because that is the room that we spend the most amount of mm-hmm. time. What's that uh, called in. again? Oh, sorry, a HEPA filter. So okay. you can get by like air filters for the home. I think it would be... Uh, a pretty big endeavor to to run a portable one every, every single room in your home, but I do run one in the bedroom because that's the one room we probably you know we sleep in. You probably spend half mm-hmm. your life in the bedroom, right? So I figured that's sort of for me that was the decision that I made personally. It was sort of a uh, to me that kind of just you know made sense. <laughs> 